silver, gold, or platinum. Are the, any of these DoorDash chairs any good? I don't know, but we're gonna find out because right now we're sitting at 49% and we need to bump it up to get to silver tier and on the way back to platinum. So far I found that only gold is, has made a significant difference just because when I had gold for two days, they, it made up over 60% of the orders that I delivered. So we're gonna take a look at silver and test out some uh, strategies. We're trying out a new strategy. So basically, I've never been on the schedule block for Grubhub. Presumably, when you are on the schedule, you get more consistent and better offers. And if you're off the block, the scheduling block, then you get all this crap, which is what I typically accept because some of them are some of them are decent. I typically focus on Uber Eats and DoorDash only, but because DoorDash is not really giving me any offers, we're gonna try getting on the block, scheduling block for Grubhub to get some orders. And we're gonna ex also accept almost every order from DoorDash. That way we can get past 50% and get to Silver Tier. I don't recall Silver Tier doing anything, but we still gotta get through Silver Tier to get back to Platinum. I mean, we gotta try out different things. We can't just keep hovering between 25 and $30. That's that's not uh, gonna cut it for us. We, we wanna reach between 30 and $35. So we're trying out different things and we'll see how it goes. We're also in a slightly different area and based off of uh, Uber Eats' metrics, it's uh, not good here, but we're, we're gonna try it anyway. And if, if, it's not, if it's bad for the lunch shift, we'll just move for the dinner shift. Normally, I would accept an order like this, $36. That's pretty good. Uh, it's th during the middle of the day, so I'll be able to go all the way up north and come back down to my zone in no time at all. But because we're just trying out new strategies, trying to figure out what works, we're not going to accept this. Instead, I accept this really bad order instead. It's not that good, but it pushes us over the edge. Like I said, we're at 49%, and then we're going to be able to hit 50% and get silver tier. So that's going to help us test to see if Silver Tier actually does anything at all, such as increase the volume of orders we get in, in a saturated area maybe, or maybe we get better orders. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we're going to be able to have this tier for quite some time. Grubhub schedule, scheduling block looks looking like a bus right now. So far, I've only re received four offers. All of them, for the most part, have not been close to me the the restaurant so i think we're just gonna ride this out and focus on trying to get the rewards tier i already got silver tier and focus on to see if they make a difference so we're gonna just keep keep going and because we're already on the schedule block but we're gonna just pay more attention to uh, the silver tier to see if that makes a difference at all In conclusion, Silver Tier does not do anything in terms of increasing the number of order offers you get or the quality in a saturated area. And this is specifically in the area that I'm testing out because I thought it would be it, it, it could show a noticeable difference. So there's that's two failed experiments so far. Grubhub being on the block schedule didn't do anything in a saturated area, and then Silver Tier does not do anything in terms of getting better offers in a saturated area so we're gonna have to try something different in the next couple of days instead i just spend the rest of the shift looking for uh or doing uber eats orders so that i can just make a little bit of money while i'm in the zone and so that i don't feel like i just wasted the entire day i mean making a little bit of money is better than nothing that way there's uh, some success i can walk home with uh, some money in my pocket we got three orders right here, and uh, one of them's gonna be all the way through Seattle. So, fingers crossed, there's not gonna be traffic coming back. Otherwise, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be too good. But let's knock these out. Is that for Grant? Yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot. Sorry they took so long. I no, you it's were all good. There for a bit. It's all good. Thank you. I went ahead and spent the rest of the 
shift or the rest of the day that I, that I was planning to do delivery focused on if I get any offers from DoorDash, I'm going to accept it thinking that, okay, well, we're going to at least uh, move inch closer towards platinum because like I said, I, I think gold really made a big difference. And so we're definitely going to have to try to move towards platinum. I, I was thinking that if platinum sucks that bad and silver obviously does nothing, then I'm going to have to start asking customers to give me like one star and kind of game the system so that I'm less than 4.7 stars. And that way I'll actually get gold instead. I don't think we're going to have to do that. I think that's a little bit wild of a, of a plan. But, you know, th I'm just throwing that, that idea out there because then w I might have to try it if if, if nothing else works. So we're going to go ahead and uh, accept some orders and inch towards platinum. I actually try again on another day, j just the, the same plan, just in case I was thinking, okay, maybe it was in saturated time, but then also maybe it was because the day was a slower day. It was a Tuesday and now it's a Wednesday. So now I'm going at a, on maybe a busier day. I feel like Wednesday is a little bit busier. How's going? And Thursday is a little bit busier. Obviously, the busiest days is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and still just poke around a little bit. I don't, I don't mind um, just cruising around, taking a look at different places. Maybe, maybe we'll run into an area that has earned by time. I don't really know the areas for that, so we might run into something like that. I think today is gonna be a bust. There just isn't enough volume on any of the apps. That I'm getting so I'm just gonna focus on just increasing my uh, acceptance rate for the next couple hours and then call it a day after that I'm going to go into and the reason why I think this this area is just too saturated I think that the best plan is to go to in a, a zone that is not saturated which is a zone that is that I'm gonna have to schedule a block for for DoorDash at least because DoorDash is definitely getting the volume um, Grubhub is not, we already tried that out. And it's actually hard to get a, a, a schedule block for Grubhub. So we're gonna try that out. We're just gonna run it out today and we're gonna switch it up. This lady was taking her sweet ass time cooking some hot dogs and she gave me a Dollar Tree bag cause she definitely was not prepared. And this order is only for like four bucks. Okay, here we go again, a new plan. So the plan for this day is that I'm gonna switch to a new zone. And in this zone, I actually had to schedule for DoorDash. And that tells me that this area is, the, the saturation is, is controlled. And I should be expecting a, you know, moderately dis, uh, consistent amount of offers from DoorDash which I do end up getting. I get a, you know, a consistent amount of offers from DoorDash. It's not, I wouldn't say they're a great offer. They're all sub $10. I'm, they are, most of them are kind of close, but the thing is that I thought it would be okay. It, the, the zone is split with b between an intersection, an in, uh, interstate highway, and unfortunately it kept sending me from one side to the other. Red Cup Day at Starbucks, so all the Starbucks are freaking freaking slammed. The wait, I had two Starbucks orders. The first one was a 25 minute wait, so I was I, I was able to unassign, and then this one was an extra five minutes from what it should have been. So yeah, it might be like this for the whole day. New information I got from this area is that I can't get earned by time in this area that it keeps setting me, all, all the good restaurants are right, right towards the middle. And so I had to cross the uh, Interstate 5 just to get to the other side, which were, were which is where all the orders were coming from. And so this area, this zone is a bust. So it's, it's no good. I think I got uh, what I wanted in terms of if I get better orders or more consistent orders in a unsaturated area. 
So that's some good information that I got from uh, this time. Or Linda? Yeah, thank you so much. Have a good one. I ended things getting a couple of high paying offers for being silver tier from this McDonald's. This McDonald's is so slow. It's, a, it's an extra five to eight minutes over the time it should be. And so even though the volume is there, the, the speed isn't. So this, this zone is no good. Um, I, I'm gonna go look for another zone that has better quality and we'll, we'll be rich after that.